Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for July 19th, 2021. Well, you, on Friday, we had kind of a bummer of a day with a lot of selling coming in to play, and it looks like we're going to, going to extend that selling here this morning. So how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. I do apologize because I messed up the blog, so there's not going to be a blog this morning. But let's take a look and see if these charts can give us any ideas about what we might want to do today so first off uh, you guys know that i have been talking about this for a while to be careful to not become complacent to not over trade hopefully quite a few of you um followed that and were prepared for a potential pullback now I don't even think this is a bad pullback yet. We have been overbought for a period of time, and um, certainly it has been um, just, you know, buy everything and kind of um, chase everything to the upside. But when we start to sell off like this, it can get very, very painful really, really fast. And as you guys remember, I kept marking this up here, these potential resistance points in the chart here on the Dow. And now we're starting to break those down just a little tiny bit. And I say just a little tiny bit because there's really nothing awful here just yet. It's just that point move is kind of awful and a little bit on the spooky side. Let's take a look. Um, if we take Take a look, this is the pre-market candle we're looking to gap down substantially this morning. That would clearly be a break of the trend, and of course we are failing this high up here, at least at the moment. Now, what does that mean um, for the day? I can't tell you, we could easily get a bounce this morning. Um, we have seen a lot of energy coming into play when the market just um, opens like this and that possibility that the buy the dip buyers will come rushing in um, um, this morning who knows it's also possible that we could get a little bit of a shock from folks that were not expecting this and a bit of a uh, follow-through sell um, today pushing us down even lower so watch that close now if we take a look at our moving averages notice that this morning this will this will be a break of that 50-day moving average so like I say it's going to be really important how we finish this day if if those buy the dip buyers come push it, uh, pushing into this chart and we push all the way back up to hold that 50-day moving average this may be nothing but a little bit of a modest rest um, in the market. A painful rest for sure because of the big point drop, but just kind of a modest rest. However, if we were to close below that 50 day moving average and then um, you know follow through to the downside, that's where we're going to start running into some problems here in the market or in the Dow. And we could literally see that 50 day moving average kind of flatten out and start to turn over like we've seen in IWM. So let's keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, looking for a pretty substantial break here today. Notice that we've we've dropped, um, failed right up here. We tried and tried and tried. And then a little bit of a lower high on Friday, bearish engulfing candle pushing on down. And now we have this little trend here that um, we kind of gave up on Friday and broke that down. But we're not in a terrible situation here on the SPY because we have a substantial price support here in the chart right there. Now we are going to be giving up this little price support right here this morning. It looks at the open. We're going to break that little level right there. So I think probably down in here would be reasonable if those buy the dip buyers don't come rushing right in. 
we could pull back into this area fairly easily. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our uh, moving averages uh, in the chart, you'll notice that we still have a significant move to just get to our 50 day moving average. So if we can hold that support right in here, we've held the 50 day moving average. Um, I don't think that will be any, any bad thing. Um, just a, a little pullback um, in the chart. Um, however, I do want to point out that both in the di diamonds, the spy and, and the QQQ, we'll look at a second, that the critical thing that's always going to happen here um, past today would be whether or not we rally back up and are able to break to a new high. The problem really comes in in the selling is if we fail to make that um, new high, if we fail at a lower high, or if we just consolidate out here and then that possibility of swinging on lower. And that creates these downtrends in the chart where we could um, really see the selling pick up. So hopefully um, if we hold these support levels, we'll just kind of rest a little bit and then see that bounce back up and we'll look for those new highs if that does occur. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now our NASDAQ has been extremely extended. Um, we've been seeing just a major rush into this and boy, we're getting quite an attack on um, big tech today. With, um, President Biden accusing uh, social media for killing people. Um, kind of an interesting thing that um, kind of stepping up on the rhetoric here on social media. So let's take a look here. Um, notice that we were we were doing good. Here's that high and then we make a new high. So that's what we want to see after a pullback. We get that pullback, we want to see that new high being made. But what I want to point out here is because this trend has been so extreme to the upside that it doesn't take a whole lot to break that trend. And that's what we're doing here today. Well, we really did it on Friday. We gave up that trend a little bit and we'll be coming down here to test this little price support in the chart. Now let's keep in mind if that little price support doesn't hold, there's not a whole lot in this chart. Um, as far as good solid price support. So that might mean we come all the way back down into this area to try and catch that support level. So watch that close um, if we really pick up the selling. However, if we hold in here and bounce back up, once again, what we're gonna be looking for is that opportunity to set a new high. I will tell you that there is a little bit of a possibility in this chart. Notice that we have this little shoulder here. This would be a head. And then there might be that possibility if we made that lower high creating that shoulder out here where we could start seeing a little bit of a technical uh, problem here in the chart. But if we take a look at our moving averages, we're in good shape. We're a long, long ways from the 50 day moving average. That's a good thing and a bad thing all at the same time. Um, we could find some price support in between here, but also because we are so far away from that move and so extended that the pullback in here could be very, very painful should um, we continue to sell off. You can see pushing down into here, um, that puts us down there at that 50 day moving average and that would be a pretty brutal pullback here in the QQQ. Now, I wouldn't expect that to happen all in one shot, all in one day, or just a straight line move down to there. Um, if that does occur, we will probably come on down someplace, we'll bounce back up or consolidate, and then that failure down into here, and that's where the real, real ugly selling could uh, begin. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now, the patterns that I've been talking about really played out here in IWM, and that is that failure, we failed up here, unable to make it through, and then we make that lower high. And you can see that's where the real selling really came in here on um, IWM. We broke down below our 50 day moving average. We rallied back up to test it as resistance and then fail to the downside. So in IWM, the critical thing here is that we are right down here at a major support level. 
and IWM. That's a pretty substantial support. We've tested down in here several times. So it's going to be important in here that we hold in this support area. Now, it may not be right here. It may be just a little bit lower, but we need to find that price support in here and see see those bulls step in those buy the dip buyers come in and try to support this area because if we don't support this area i just want you to to kind of recognize that there is a significant pullback that could still occur if we fail that support area so pretty ugly if we happen to break on through and if we take a look at our moving averages here on this chart you're going to see that we have broken that 50-day moving average and um, I have suggested before that there's a good chance IWM is going to test its 200-day moving average and you can see if it tests its 200-day moving average even today we're going to break that price support up here and we could be drifting down to that next level of price support so just kind of keep an eye on that could be a little bit painful um, today but um, at least at this point, I don't see any reason to panic. Um, certainly, um, it may be a shock if, if you just thought that the market would never fall, but um, we all know that at some point in time, the pullback is going to occur. Now, I suspect there's going to be a lot of folks um, with some painful accounts today. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to panic. You don't want to be making knee-jerk decisions here because this is going going to be, um, you know, one of those days where we, we need to hold our breath just a little bit and see if the market bounces or see if we continue to sell off. Um, so don't panic. Just um, stay focused. Stick to your plan. Stick to your rules of the trade. Let's take a look at um, our, our VIX. If we take a look at the VIX, you're going to notice that this morning we're going to spike up here just a little bit in the in the VIX. A little bit of fear might come up here today. And we've been holding on to this price support as we've been trying to set new record highs. We just haven't been able to set a new low in the VIX. And this morning we'll be popping up here a bit, but it isn't terrible yet in any way, shape or form. It's not terrible. If we take a look at our moving averages, notice that we'll be popping above our 50 day moving average. What's going to be important here, I think in the VIX is that we don't break some of these downtrends um, or break this uh, price resistance level right here. If we were to pop up into there, then we start getting a little bit um, worried about that fear really creeping up and that possibility of follow through selling. Now, once again, it's really not going to matter all that much. This, this is that first little perk of fear. And if we pop up in here, it can be okay as long as we pull all the way back. But if we were to hold a support level up here, a higher low, and then see selling come in, that's where the real sell-off begins and where it could be really painful if you're kind of caught over long the market. So watch that carefully here today. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how we deal with this. Now let's take a look at our T2122. Interestingly enough, T2122 has just been kind of drifting along sideways here. And I've been mentioning that to be a little bit careful about um, buying too much long because T2122 was really showing us that more stocks were drifting in a sideways to even lower move um, while the market was trying to give us the perception of upside. So watch that carefully in here. I suspect T2122 is going to be right down here in a very bullish reversal zone um today now whether or not we get that bounce we'll want to watch for that and just keep in mind we've been up for so long you know we've stuck up here for a long time 
we certainly have that possibility that we could stick down here for a period of time if we continue to see those sellers uh, pick up. So watch that carefully here in the chart. But we also have that possibility that on this big gap down, that may be the end of this selling move and we could see those buyers pick up and surge back to the upside. So watch for that as well. Then let's take a look at our T2101. And guys, this is really the thing that I've been concerned about, um, that T2101 was not showing us the market breadth that we really should have been having um, for some time here in the market. We've been kind of stalled up around the top. And Friday, we picked up a little bit of breadth, but that happened to be on that selling wave. And I suspect we're gonna see this continue to spike up today, that we'll see that breadth increase or increasing on the selling wave and that's exactly what we don't want to see we don't want to see that breadth um, really spiking up a lot um, hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully we see those buyers come in and those buyers really pick up and expand the breadth here today um, what we've seen here recently when the buyers come in and try to buy things up we contract in our absolute breadth. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And let's get rid of all of these lines. Let's take a look at that economic calendar. Today, we have a housing market index here at 10 a.m. Um, probably not going to be any kind of a major market mover at all. So just keep an eye on that. Housing starts and permits, that will be interesting on Tuesday, could move us around. And notice we have a relatively light week um, um, on here. You know, it was interesting, the calendar had an FOMC meeting. Um, there must have been a mistake in the calendar last week. Um, had an FOMC meeting this week, but I think it's actually next, next week. So um, there was a mistake in here and I, uh, pass that mistake along. So no worries here this week on FOMC. Um, petroleum status, we've got claims, normal stuff, existing home sales. So we, it's going to be a lot about home sales today, uh, this week, and then composite flash on Friday. So no major calendar events here. But on the earnings calendar, we have a pretty big uh, week of earnings calendar as earnings begin to ramp up and we're going to start hearing for, from more and more companies other than just the major banks. Um, let's take a look at some of those notables today. Um, we've got um, IBM. IBM will be reporting. Um, looks like IBM is looking a little bit lower. It's been in a downtrend. Now I can't tell you if this uh, push down um, is because of the earnings report so far this morning. I haven't seen that or if um, it's just a an effect of the overall market, but watch that closely. Um, if we lose this price support, we can certainly go lower here in IBM. Um, how about CLAM? Whoops. CA, I can't type. C-A-L-M, that'll be reporting today. You'll wanna to keep an eye on that. Now, food has been one of those interesting areas. Um, been selling off here recently in C-A-L-M, but as um, inflation really continues to crank up, um, you could maybe see these companies start to produce a little bit better profits. Um, A-N, A-N will be reporting today. Auto Nation, wanna keep an eye on that. Uh, J-B-H-T, J-B Hunt. Uh, trucking, um, we'll want to keep an eye on this. We'll be reporting today. Watch this. We've broken this downtrend here and we're trying to hold some price support. So this could be an important earnings, whether or not we will pop on through and continue to go higher or uh, break that support level to the downside. PacWest is reporting today. Um, watch that closely. PacWest not looking too beautiful here at the moment. Um, certainly moving in a downtrend, but a big level of price support right in here if it can hold. So keep an eye on that. PPG reporting today. 
watch for that report stld steel dynamics um, looks like they're following through a little bit to the downside this morning and once again that could be just a little bit of the bearish pressure of the overall market not sure they've actually reported yet watch that close a little bit of price support right in there if that can hold and tsco tractor supply um, reporting today so we'll want to keep an eye on that tseo pretty interesting chart we're going to be holding some price support in here um, if it can um, and then continue on higher or we break that down and then we've got a little bit of a problem in that chart so with that there are a few of those stocks that are notable today that you want to be paying attention to and how about we look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be helpful guys please do me a favor and um, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and um, it's, it's that engagement, those comments that make the difference that help me um, or help the channel continue to grow. And I just want to say thanks for everyone who does that. And thank you to everyone who's been utilizing the Buy Me a Coffee link, um, supporting the channel. That way you guys are awesome. Now this video is already getting long and obviously as far as stocks to trade today, unless you're already short some stocks probably don't want to chase them this morning on the big gap down if you're looking for a long it may not be the time to be looking for a long until we kind of settle down a little bit so as far as stocks to maybe look at today i'm going to be talking about some stocks that are likely pulling back and we're looking for that next opportunity in the trade take a look at home depot here home depot has been in this kind of consolidating resting pattern here in the chart notice we we've got some price support in here so as long as we don't break down these support levels watch for that opportunity that that could gain a little bit of energy in here and perk back up for that upside move remember for a short trade pattern if you're looking for a short trade we want to see a failure of a support a rally back to that resistance and then look right in here that would be the short trade so if you start seeing those patterns pick up we'd be looking for more of a short you can see that pattern right here break down and this was more of a consolidation over and then we continue to fail on those are great productive short patterns let's take a look at lows um, lows also in that same kind of pattern we've been picking up looking pretty good here watch for that chart right through that area if that can continue to hold that'll be an interesting chart um, for us to pay attention to so if we can hold right in here then that opportunity we could perk on through to the upside then if we take a look at um, some other stocks like apple now apple we know has been extremely bullish here recently and this might be one of those kind of stocks that bounce right back notice we've got earnings coming here on the 27th so um, what we could see is apple pull back here just a little bit and then those buyers start picking this up in anticipation of a good earnings report so watch that right in here if we catch some price supports in here this little pullback could definitely set up an opportunity to the upside keep a close eye on that you might also want to take a look at Oracle now interestingly enough Oracle is just very very strong um, we had a little pullback the other day but boy on Friday it just didn't want to sell off at all so holding up very nicely in here if it holds this price support watch this level right in here for that opportunity that it could perk on through to the upside keep a close eye um, we've seen some pretty good moves in um, some of these um, uh, whoops some of these um, healthcare drug maker um, stocks here recently notice that holding up nicely in here breaking through that resistance I was actually alerted on this chart I'd had a price alert right up in here on that chart moving on through and we're looking pretty good now the question is going to be with this pressure in the market can we actually break through this resistance to the upside and push on through notice we may have plenty of time out here to just kind of rest um, in here as long as we don't break down 
Um, I think we're going to be okay here in Pfizer. Keep a close eye on that. J&J &J was also another that was trying to move on up and test that resistance high. But unfortunately, it started to crack up here just a, a little bit back to that pullback. However, this isn't bad as long as this pullback holds some price support in here. If we can grab a little price support and catch those buyers picking up, that would create that higher low and that opportunity that we could move on through to the upside. Last but not least, guys, I'm going to mention these again because I've been mentioning these before. You guys know that I'm holding RWM. This was a hedge to... Um, to the sell-off that I was seeing in um, IWM. That's paying off beautifully. Um, this is a rounded bottom breakout pattern where we break above that 50 and hold. And now we're pushing on up. Now, once again, I wouldn't chase this, but any rest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity that we could continue to go up if that market is going to turn bearish. Um, these, um, uh, um, inverse ETF and these are not leveraged ETFs these are just the straight ETFs so you can buy and hold them for a little bit longer period of, of time so RWM looking good take a look at dog DOG is the inverse on um, the Dow and you can see this morning we're gapping up substantially right into that 50-day moving average so this could be that resistance point in the chart but if it serves more as um, that resting period place where we pop up here and then we rest and drag that 50-day moving average out that could be the rounded bottom breakout entry pattern here on uh, DG. Um, the other two that I want to suggest you keep an eye on, and these aren't ready for prime time just yet, S um, SH is on the SPY. Notice we're bouncing up here toward that 50-day moving average. We still have a lot of work here in this before um, SPY turns bearish, but keep a close eye on it. And the same with PSQ. Um, a long ways to go before this actually turns into an RBB or a bearish pattern uh, for the QQQ. But watch that closely as we rally up. Now, keep in mind, we've got a lot of earnings coming our way. Anything is possible as we kind of progress through those earnings. I do, however, need to point out before I cut this video off, um, I apologize for it being so long, but um, we are kind of extending to the downside here this morning. We're now down 480 points, so it's getting um, more painful as um, we progress toward that open. So just be really really careful and try not to panic everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great success in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning take care everyone